the body of a slain Iranian commander killed in a U.S. drone strike arrived in Iran Sunday as tens of thousands of mourners marched in the streets. Marj. Gen. Qasem Soleimani, commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Elite Quds Force, was targeted by U.S. forces in Baghdad Friday as he left the airport in a two-car convoy. Eight other people were killed, including Abu Mahdi al-Mahandis, a powerful Iraqi militia leader. Soleimani's body was flown to Awaz, in southwest Iran, in a flag-draped coffin following a funeral procession in Baghdad and the two Iraqi shrine cities of Kabul and Najaf. The procession began just hours after President Trump, tweeting from his personal resort in West Palm Beach, FLA, threatened to strike targets in Iran should its forces retaliate against Americans or U.S. interests. He appeared to be responding to remarks by a Revolutionary Guard commander, Gen. Gulamali Abu Hamze, who suggested Saturday that dozens of American facilities and military assets in the Middle East were at risk, along with Israel, a key U.S. ally. Trump tweeted, if Iran strikes any Americans, or American assets, we have targeted 52 Iranian sites, representing the 52 American hostages taken by Iran many years ago, some at a very high level or important to Iran or the Iranian culture, and those targets, and Iran itself, will be hit were. Y-F-A-S-T-A-N-D-V-E-R-Y-H-A-R-D. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif responded Sunday on Twitter, saying, targeting cultural sites is a war crime. Iran has 24 locations on the UN list of World Heritage Sites. In footage broadcast on Iranian state television Sunday, black-clad monas waving flags and chanting religious slogans filled Avaz's Molavi Square and surrounding streets, as well as a major bridge. The channel juxtaposed the images of the crowds with a video of a younger Soleimani reciting Persian poetry and Iran's state-run Islamic Republic news agency described the scene as glorious. All schools and businesses are closed today, he was popular here and even more popular now, said Farnaz. 33, a computer engineer and resident of Avaz. Like other Iranians contacted Sunday, she spoke on the condition that her full name not be used so she could talk freely about the death of a senior military commander. People here have felt insecure and threatened by other countries for decades, so they saw Soleimani as an important and charismatic commander who was protecting their security, she said. Still, Abbas and other cities in oil-rich Khuzestan province, home to a large ethnic Arab minority, have a his. Story of anti-government unrest. In November, when protests over cuts to fuel subsidies gripped Iranian cities, security forces launched a brutal crackdown and gunned down scores of demonstrators in Mahisha, some 70 miles south of Abbas. On Sunday, unverified video posted online showed masked youth setting fire to a billboard commemorating Soleimani. The slain commander's procession will continue to Mashhad in northeastern Iran, as well as the capital, Tehran, and the holy city of Om on Monday. Soleimani will be buried in his hometown, Karman, on Tuesday. In Mashhad, home to the shrine of Imam Reza, a revered figure in Shiite Islam, residents described a city paralyzed by preparations for the funeral. Many of those already in the streets hailed from Liva al fatemiyun a military brigade of mostly Afghan Shiite Hazaras recruited and equipped by the Revolutionary Guard, according to residents. All the roads are closed and if there is an emergency, there is no way to move, said 27-year-old Moon. A construction worker. People have mixed feelings about his death, he said. Most of the people around me are sad but also afraid that the recent anti-government protests and hundreds of people killed were in vain. Uddhir and Chen. On Saturday, Iraq was the uneasy epicenter of a region on edge, with rockets falling after dark and monas chanting anti-American slogans at two prominent religious sites. Iraqi Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi called the attack an assassination that was a flagrant violation of the condition. S. Authorizing the presence of U.S. troops on Iraqi soil. Rockets were later fired toward Baghdad's Green Zone, site of the U.S. Embassy, and at an airbase hosting U.S. troops north of Baghdad. U.S. and Iraqi officials said they caused no casualties. A spokesman for the U.S.-led military coalition against the Islamic State said that we have increased security and defensive measures at the Iraqi bases that host anti-ISIS coalition troops. Khatib Hezbollah, an Iraqi militia backed by Iran, also warned members of Iraqi security forces to keep more. Read in half a mile from U.S. military bases, beginning Sunday evening. The militia, which led a siege of the U.S. Embassy before Soleimani's killing, did not say why it issued the warning. NATO, which has several hundred personnel in Iraq, announced that it was suspending its training of Iraqi terror. Ops. The safety of our personnel in Iraq is paramount. We continue to take all precautions necessary, a NATO spokesman, Dylan White, said in an email statement. Please like, comment and subscribe.